Hello, um, welcome to another uh, art lesson with Mike Jackson. Uh, a couple of days ago, I drew a little little sketch uh, of a, a fat cat. Now I often do this. After wherever I go, I, t I take away, uh, I take my little notepad with me and do all sorts of different, loads and loads of different sketches. I just zoom out so you can have a quick look at me. So I do lots of little little ideas people there and, and there's always something something on the go some little idea that I'm formulating and anyway <clears throat> I think it's the best thing to do as a as, as an artist is that always have a little sketchbook and a, a pencil or a pen with you and you can just note down any little ideas now this one I thought would be a great one for a fat cat so I've got my sketch, and that's the great thing about doing the sketches. You, when you go to do your watercolour, you're only competing with your own sketch. Whereas if you was to go and take a photograph of a scene, you're competing with the real thing. And that's really, really difficult. Unless you're an absolutely brilliant artist. Um, and um, there are very few of them about. Uh, me included, I am not one of those. I paint what I paint in the way that I way uh, the way that I do, and uh, I just love painting it that way. Anyway, so it's a great idea. Just take your your sketchbook out, and you might even draw a little scene or something like that. But that scene then becomes your reference. Your drawing becomes your reference rather than a photograph. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the. Um, drawing this little little scene out first this little um, little fat cat so when you look at it I will I will put the the reference drawing uh, available for you to download but it's always fun to try it yourself so the, the first one is going to be like it's almost like a square this this um, this fat cat so we've got the square is its body, right? And then we'll cut a little corner there, off there, as if we're on a little nibble of something there. And from there, we'll put another, like a square, it's not, it's a bit rounded there, yeah? And we're gonna cut that corner off there as well. Yeah? And then that part there will be the nose. Now I've gone a bit too far there, so that's all right. It's all about correcting, correcting yourself as you go along. And I'm going to come down a bit, down a bit of that, a little angle, over there, and that's where his nose will be. And we'll some ears going from the back, pointing forward, and one up there, one up there. Now we can fix that a little bit higher if you want. And the tail is just gonna, he's gonna have a short tail. It's coming down there. And we'll make that a little bit less of a square now. Put a circle there. That's for its, his, uh, his shoulder part. He's got one foot in the air. And he's dangling down. See, these are all simple shapes that we can all do. Just squares, circles, triangles, oblongs, whatever. So there's another part there. And his legs going go that way and down a little bit. Now, I think what we've done, I think I've gone a bit too further down here. So I'm going to go a little bit further back up here. Because we want, really, we want the, the plane to be around. So we'll come down and back up and down there. And I'm going to fix this further down and this further down there. It looks a little bit more natural then. And then his back foot, we can't see the front the his shoulder there because it's it's behind his body. He's on there and this one is there and he's having a little trot. 
basis um, like thigh, there's his thigh, there's his tail over there and straight across there that's his now I mean, it's a little bit too pronounced that hook there so I'm gonna go there a little bit more yeah over there and we'll put some big old tiger stripes there now I'm gonna put a big circle there so his eyes gonna be there okay and I will put another bigger circle there that's where that little bit underneath his nose is going to be and we'll fix this a little higher so it's all about just putting your basic shapes in stepping back and having a look and think well does that look right let's let's change it and at the end of the day it's just a piece of paper it's your piece of paper and you can do with it as you please right so uh, we'll have the look like it there that's now that's our base for our fat cat there we go Now, there you go, that was fairly simple. So, the next thing we're going to do is going to start to put a bit of paint in there. So, I've got my colours here. That's a very dark colour, that's uh, it's, it's black. I don't like to use it that much, but anyway, it's there. Uh, that's paint grey. Um, sorry, no, that's bitumen. Bitumen, or bitumen. It's... Let me show you, it's that, it's a Sennelia painting, can you see it that way, it's by Sennelia, there you go, it's called Bitume, apparently it's quite hard to get hold of, but you can get it from Sennelia, so it's Bitume, and there's your paint grey, and there is a, what colour is that, yeah, that's a blue, that's a thalo blue, ultramarine, purple and that one is it's phalo green light that one yeah and that one there is olive green yeah olive green and then that is green gold burnt sienna um that is a crimson alizarin i think something like that red yellow orange that's a new one that's a new one i've got there and it's called queen acidrone gold beautiful right let's get painting so i'm using my well let me just show you the paper i'm using first it is that one buckingford block St cuthbert's and it is a 310 by 230 and it is 12, that's 12 by 9 and it is 300 GSM and it's a block and it's fine I don't need that anymore okay so just to make a little mixture here and I'm gonna go straight in with a little bit of orange and just orange on there now that's going to be the base colour. Now, I don't want to keep it just a flat colour because it looks, they tend to look boring when you do this. So now I'm going to mix it up, put a lot of this, this pinky colour in there now. A little bit more of this pinky colour. And that's what it's Opera Rose, or Rose Opera. Alright, so and a little bit of this yellow as well. We'll just lighten it up there with the yellow. Take that down there. 
let's just have a little go at this this Queen Acid Oil Gold. That is quite beautiful. We've got these lovely little colours working together on this piece of paper and letting nature do its own stuff. And let gravity pull it down. Right up there like that. And it's a bit of yellow up there actually. Now here is where we have to be a little bit careful. We just do a little circle around where that eye is going to be. Because we want to have the opportunity of making, leaving that white. And I think we'll go under this part as well. Now, I like to do cats' noses a bit pinky. I'll fix that in a bit. See, it's welling at the bottom there. Just get a thirsty brush and just suck that up. Transfer it over to the bottom part here so we're not wasting any of that valuable, beautiful paint. The birds are tweeting outside, that's lovely. It's the first signs of spring coming for me. And we'll go up there a bit of the orange. I'm making a mess of that. I've touched that with that, but oh, I don't want to. We're not, we're not painting that bit. Right, let that just dry in a little bit. I've let that dry in a little bit. It's not completely dry yet, which is good. We don't want that to happen. We want to, it, it to be still a little damp so that we can add different shades in here and let them blend in. So it's still quite damp under there. So it's still running in to each other and letting that paint do the job just added a bit of clean water there to that and that there see that's dried a bit there so I'm just going to add a little bit of water to the edge Lift that up there, add a bit more colour to that. This orange here. Over there. I might get this opera rose mixed in with that.
down brooks over there just to just to blend those areas together. Now I used a thirsty brush to lift these little water, these wells of pigment. It's all been beading up together. Let's just soften the edges where you want to soften and leave the harsh edges where you want to leave them harsh. Okay, now I think I'm going to leave that bit to dry now. Okay, welcome back. Now this is all dried, nice and dried. Lovely. Now this is where I'll put our second stage in. So that's just our background. That's a base colour really. Uh, and so we're going to go for a, another coating of the same colours. And let's, um, first of all we put the glasses on. Right. Now, we'll just round this character off a little bit just by putting and a couple of a couple of stripes a little tiger kind of tortoise shell or whatever it's called a tiger just using the same color now oh. and we'll put some that big old a uh, mixture of that as well can be very red. Take the stripes over there, see that they're just quite simple really. You don't want to have anything too too straight because it's got fur on so it's bound to be a little bit distorted. There we go. The stripes on his arms here you see now and his legs oh, up this area too. make your stripes come from both sides there. Now I'm going to use a little bit of burnt sienna here now. Burnt sienna and maybe a little bit of bitumen or you can use it. You might be able, if you can't get all that bitumen, use some of the uh, Van Dyke brown or something like that or dark brown. So I'm just going to add some darker areas on these back legs which are underneath his bod. Uh, just a little bit of a tutter here and a tutter there. So you don't have to be too precise with this. It's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be a chore or arduous, I mean, otherwise you won't be doing it, would you? So don't, don't get worried about these, these little things. in there I know, it's more, I know that most cat size are green but if you're looking at a cat from a distance you won't be able to see that colour of its eyes but it'll just be 
a shape. So I've just added a few little bits and bobs here now. Uh, that bitumen again underneath there. I'll put a bit of ground underneath in there. There we go, and that was simple, wasn't it? <clears throat> so you have uh, have fun doing that, and I um, I hope you take something away from it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.